Hello, hello, hello again. This is video number four, I think. <laughs> Listen, now that I know about this, you know, record a whole bunch of videos all at once. I mean, I, I, I heard about it before, but it made me feel icky. Like, oh, I don't know if I want to do a bunch of videos on the same day and then spread them out when I share them. Whatever. It's YouTube. We can do what we want. <laughs> And uh, the other reason why I'm doing four in a week, things have just all come in this week, over the last week, I should say. And the deals that I've gotten are amazing. And I also feel I'm getting closer and closer to, what we can say, jewelry piece. I know there's a thing as purse, purse piece, uh, but I'm getting to a point where I think my jewelry collection is where I want it to be for now. There's definitely things on my wish list, but as far as actively looking for, um, I may be coming to a good stopping point. Stopping point, not done, just a good stopping point. Anyway, this is Fashion File, another fabulous deal. Um, yeah, not as good as the other deal. If you've seen my other video, I found a pair of um, silver Chanel earrings for a fabulous price. This is a great price too. Um, not as great, but still very good. So anyways, this is another uh, Chanel piece, vintage Chanel, love vintage Chanel, love contemporary Chanel, um, but vintage is where I'm at right now. Uh, actually, I'm wearing not so vintage stuff right now. <laughs> ah, so I'm like, oh, let me just take these off. Just getting to the end of the day, and sometimes when I wear certain earrings, um, my ears will start to bother me at the end of the day. And these are very lightweight, so it's not that they're heavy. It's just that my ear gets irritated having an earring in it all day long. Now that I'm getting into up into advanced age, as my niece likes to tease me. Everyone's a boomer who's above 30, basically, according to her. So this is my earring of the day. Um, I think it's from 2019. Ooh, oh, gosh. I just handle them like they're just, uh, no big deal. Let's see here. 2019, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot we have Zoom. I can't tell. I think it's, oops, sorry, shaky hand. I think it's 2019. Let me see if I can get a closer look at it. Oh no, this is entirely too small. Oh no. Let's say I think it's 2019. <laughs> but I love them. Absolutely love them, but they're coming off my ear now. So and this is my water bottle. I keep this at work, Versace, bougie and bougie, but I drink a lot of water. I drink much more water now than I ever did before. This, I like the cup. It gets me to drink water. I agree. Not I agree. I go for it. I, whatever it was I was thinking about. Yeah, this is video four. Don't get much you get. <laughs> so as you know, it's fast and fine get, ooh, of course, the item you ordered, you get the confetti, I guess I'm a little snippy on this confetti now, huh, get the confetti and the fashion file, <laughs> yeah, everyone knows about that, alrighty, so, that's that, get to the good stuff this once again just looking around actually on this one I was checking to see if fashion file had shipped my earrings yet the ones that are in the other video that I think I'm posting first is this gonna okay I'm trying to open it with one hand with one hand and my my shoulder Jeez. One of these days, I keep saying one of these years I'm gonna get a setup. I probably never will. Mm -mm. Let's do it. It's fun, a little lighthearted after work, before going out for the weekend, during the weekend. I just put these together and throw them together because I like sharing. But getting into it, really getting into it, no, I like my career. Focus more on it. But this is fun. This is fashion file. And another great deal. All right. Y'all ready? Oh, I 
Hello, Vintage Chanel. Woo-wee. Look at this. I just got this bad boy. Look at this. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that detail. You have the CC, you have the lions, you have everything. Long necklace. Let me see where it hits me when I put it on. Yeah, it's sort of hard to tell, but it hits me like just below my my breasts. So, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. And then let's see what period this is from. This is, oh, made in France, has a stamp. Hmm, I want to do a search on this. This is Chanel. Five, nine, four, six, but there's no other. Maybe this means this is from the 80s. Huh. Don't have me second guessing stuff now again. Gosh darn it. I need to study up more on my Chanel stamps. Like date stamps, what it means. Huh. Yeah, I'll after that because I, I I I think this is okay. Um this seems familiar. And it's sort of like a sunburst, but yeah, it's the same day, so it's the same raggedy nails. <laughs> um, it looks fine. The hardware is correct for the period, if this is indeed 80s, 90s. Oh, oh, there's the tag. Oh, yay. Okay, I didn't notice that before. Okay, it is the same thing. Uh. <laughs> it's the tag here, Chanel made in France. Huh. Anything on the other side? Nothing. Okay, I'll have to do some research. Pay another 50 bucks to get authenticated, but you know what? Rather safe than sorry. Oh, I'm bitter about that. But this looks fine. I'm just, I expected a date stamp, but I'm going to do some Google searching. Uh, some of the websites I frequent, just go to there and um, see if I can find this necklace elsewhere and do some research and see if what I have matches. I feel pretty confident it's good. It's just not having a date stamp on the back sort of throws me off. Ooh, but that's okay. I love this necklace. It's very substantial. The gold, if it in is indeed from that period, 80s, 90s, it's gold plated. It's just fabulous. I'm gonna keep those nails out of this game because the nails are making this look ugly. <laughs> So let me do a close up so you guys can see the CC there. See the CC? Oh, these nails. Chanel at the bottom. I keep forgetting to zoom in. I have zoomed in. Do you see that? Oh, it's wonderful. Look at the detail, even in this work up here. I love it. Well, look. Look, the tree, or I think that's a tree. In the homes, I think that's water, boats on the water. I like boats on the water. This is a fantabulous piece. I absolutely love it. Let me zoom back out some. Oops, that's my finger. Ah, and then you have the chain itself. It's wonderful. And this one's interesting because it hooks, not at the top up there, it hooks together down here. And when I first saw it online, I was like, I don't know about that, but you know, that's it, that's this, it's the way it is. So I'm gonna do some research, but this looks good to me. I mean, this looks wonderful to me actually. I can't wait to wear it. Um, I have some button earrings that, um, it doesn't match this motif, but um, it has a bit of that sunburst effect on it. So I'm gonna wear it with this. I'm very happy. Yay! And let me, you know, let's compare detail. This is the more, you know, 2019. I'm assuming this is 18, um, in the 80s or 90s. And don't get me wrong, I love these earrings. I love these earrings. Wait, is that tarnish? <gasps> No, son of, 
Y'all, I take care of my stuff. Look at that. Can you see the green in there? Gosh darn it. I just noticed that. Look at that. Look at that green. You know, I love the look, but that's 40 years old. Let's say 30 years old. Three years old. Why is this turning green? Why is that turning green? Are you kidding me? Look at that. I am so bitter right now. Let me take a picture of this because I'm about to post about this. Because I think I've had these earrings. I didn't get them the year they came out. Maybe I got them in 2020, 2021. I am not a happy camper right now. Sorry, y'all. This is not the video you came for, I know. It's like, we want to see more of the vintage stuff. Shoot, I do too, because this current stuff is not acting right. Can't believe that. And look at this. I mean, listen, it's vintage for me. It's just vintage. It just is what it is. I mean, I love these earrings, but the fact that they're tarnishing already, whatever that green stuff is, you know what? Maybe there's a way for, maybe that's normal. Let me not get too, maybe that's normal and there's a way I can clean that off or do something about it. But right now, mm -mm, not happy, not happy at all. Like what? It's three years old. I have non-Chanel pieces that don't do this. Like things I picked up from like Lane Bryant or, you know, Ross or whatever, somewhere else. Oh my gosh. Bitter McBitter. I don't even know where that phrase just came from. Okay, y'all, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> but let me go back over here to make me happy. Oh, I'm happy again. <laughs> vintage is the way it is. Vintage, listen, I think I just had an epiphany. It's vintage or it's fine jewelry. That's that. These folks playing around, ooh, vintage or fine jewelry. And I was about to do a video talking about why I love costume jewelry. I'm about to go look at all my Chanel pieces more closely. Ooh, I, oh. Anyways, this has been, move that over there. This has been a fabulous, fabulous find. I love it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the price. So found this uh, fashion file and it was $5.50. Expensive, yes. Expensive for vintage Chanel necklace? Absolutely not. Um, yeah. So anyways, glad you guys shared this unboxing with me, shared, spent time over here, whatever it is. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'll get to them in a minute, but until next time, bye.